Lotto and Ice Spice just got into it again after Ice's ex-best friend, Baby Storm, exposed her for being obsessed with Lotto and always trying to copy her. Storm even went as far as to posting several receipts that prove that Ice has been secretly plotting on Lotto for years now. Storm knew exactly what she was doing when she decided to spill all this tea because Ice and Lotto are currently feuding and they've had some really nasty exchanges in the past. At one point, Ice even accused Lotto of ripping off her style and called her a flop. Whole time, she was really the one who was jealous of Lotto and copied her every move. Baby Storm also accused Ice Spice of committing DV against her producer, Riot Tusa. Now, if you've been on social media, then you already know Lotto and Ice Spice have been doing too much. They've come at each other in the nastiest ways possible. And at first, people thought the reason that Ice Spice didn't like Lotto is because she disrespected Nicki Minaj a little while ago. But it looks like it actually runs a little deeper than that. As I've said before, this was revealed by Ice Spice's ex-best friend, Baby Storm, who randomly decided to take to Twitter a few days ago and air out all of Ice Spice's dirty laundry. Apparently, she and Ice Spice fell out a while ago, so she decided on a random afternoon that it was time to expose Ice and let the world know who she really is. She claims Ice Spice has been actively having an affair with her producer, Ryan Tusa, and that Riot was actually the mastermind behind her career. Storm also claims that after all the sacrifices the Riot made for her, Ice shamelessly cheated on him with TJ and then went to rub it in Riot's face by bragging about it in a song that Riot literally produced. She also attached a screenshot of a chat she had with Riot about the incident and there was a lot of tea being spilled in them DMs. She said, EJ, Riot is her producer and boyfriend since 2019. He was the real mastermind behind her career and the one who pushed her to rap. She cheated on him with TJ and then rapped about it on they song together. If you don't believe me, just go back and read the lyrics to Gangsta Boo. But this time, read carefully. They were talking about him. She knows no loyalty, not even to the person who has always been there for her, Riot. Oh, but that ain't even the worst part, y'all, because Storm also claimed that Ice Spice sometimes put her hands on him and leaves him with very severe injuries. The cheating was bad, but that ain't even the worst part of her relationship with him. The worst thing she did is the domestic abuse. She the f out of him and he never has hit her back. Baby Storm then went on to drop the bombshell about Ice copying Lotto and selling her soul to the higher ups in Hollywood to get ahead in her career. She said the reason why Lotto blew up into a star is because she's talented and that's actually the real reason why Ice Spice is mad. Ice knows she ain't got the talent that Lotto has so she had to sell her soul and attach herself to Nikki after Nikki and Lotto got into it so she can be in Nikki's good graces and attack Lotto. Lotto rose to fame because of her talent and talent only. Ice rose to fame because she sold her soul. She knew she would never have a fraction of the amount of talent that Lotto has. So she attacked her on purpose to get a Nicki feature so the bars would turn on Lotto. It hurt her career because Lotto is a rapper and they have the same fan base. But I'm not a rapper, so the barbs can't touch my career. Now, when Storm said this, a lot of folks was gagged because Ice and Lotto have an ongoing feud and for a second, it looked like Lotto was the problem. But from what Baby Storm is saying, it looks like Ice was the problem all along and she intentionally put herself in a position to have some beef with Lotto just because she's jealous of her talent. Ice and Lotto actually used to be industry friends before Ice started throwing shade at Lotto after Lotto stood up to Nikki and called her a 40-year-old bitter grandma. Ice clapped back at Lotto by posting a video of Cleopatra and calling out the young girls for always dragging the older girls for their age. I don't like when the young Young girlies come for the old girlies. I don't like that. What the? F what is wrong with y'all? Have some f respect for your elders. Hey, first of all, when you argue with an older person, why y'all come at their age? You're gonna be that age one day. You and you better hope that is gracefully on you, baby. Because the way y'all be coming at older people for being old. Y'all make it seem like y'all gonna be young forever. Like, tell me something I don't know, Benjamin Button. Cause what the f 
Lotto was quick to catch the shade, and she immediately unfollowed Ice Spice on IG. Ice also didn't hesitate to return the favor by unfollowing Lotto. As if things couldn't get any messier, Lotto decided to level up her pettiness by pretending like she had no idea who Ice Spice was during an interview. How can I lose if I'm already chose? Chose. Like. Ice didn't take this very well at all, and she clapped back by sliding into 21 Savage's comments and flirting with him. Now, as most of y'all already know, there have been some rumors going around now for a while about Lotto and 21 Savage secretly dating, with Lotto even going as far as to tattooing 21's government name behind her ear. But that's a whole different story for another day. Anyway, back to Lotto and Ice Spice. They got into it again when fans started accusing Lotto of trying to copy Ice's style. As y'all know, Ice has a signature look of always wearing short skirts and mini crop tops. That was never how Lotto styled herself, but once Ice blew up and people started to associate her with that kind of style, Lotto also popped up out of nowhere and started dressing exactly like that. Somebody on Twitter peeped this and they tweeted, even though I feel like Ice Spice style needs to evolve, but I'm noticing that Lotto is stealing her style right in front of our eyes. She did the same thing with Renny Rucci and it went unnoticed. The fan then went on to post side-by-side -side pictures of Lotto and Ice and said, I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not bugging. She wasn't dressing like that before. Ice caught wind of this and responded by saying, I hate a girl with no identity. To which someone else responded and said, they stealing yours. Ice Spice responded to that comment and said, can't. Lotto didn't directly respond to Ice Spice, but she put up a tweet that said, I don't like how y'all take my tweets and make them fit your weak ass narratives. A fan clapped back by reposting a photo of Lotto on Twitter that she had originally posted to IG and called her out for copying Ice Spice's poses. In the picture, Lotto can be seen doing Ice's signature pose where she turns her back to the camera and bends over. Lotto responded to the fan and said, every time y'all accuse me of copying folks, I'ma clear it up. None more, nothing less. After all this whole messy back and forth, they both seemingly kept their names out of each other's mouths. That was until recently, when Lotto posted a short video of her rapping along to her unfinished song, Sunday Service. The video quickly went viral, but it wasn't because of the song though. It was because people had noticed that there was a video of Ice Spice playing in the TV in the background. What made this even messier was at the particular point in the song where the video popped up, Lotto was rapping a couple bars that people felt like were probably a dig at Ice. She said, I just want one on one. I don't know why she's so nervous. Ice didn't respond to this immediately, but she later released her song, Think You the Ish, Fart, where she threw a couple jabs at Lotto. In the song, she bragged about being richer than Lotto and threatened to take 21 Savage from her if she ain't stopped coming for her. She rapped, Think You the sh B, you not even the fart. Bees be quick, but I'm quicker. Bees be thick, but I'm thicker. She could be rich, but I'm richer. Taking her man don't give a F. Now, at the time that Ice released this song, a lot of people didn't even realize this was supposed to be a diss track at Lotto. Everybody thought it was just a regular song. That was until Ice got on Twitter spaces and revealed that the song was actually a Lotto diss track. Apparently, she felt like Lotto was throwing shade when she previewed her song with her music video playing in the background. So this was her way of clapping back to make Lotto aware that she wanted all the smoke. Lotto responded by pulling up to the neighborhood where she grew up to shoot the video for Sunday service. So as y'all can see, they've been going through it for a while now. And for a second, it looked like Lotto was the problem. But if the things that Baby Storm said was true, that means that Ice was out to get Lotto from the start. She desperately wanted to have a problem with her. And that's why she inserted herself into the Lotto and Nikki feud and decided to pick a side. It really all adds up, and it shows just how conceited and two-faced Ice really is. As usual, people had their own thoughts about this, like this person who said, nah, Ice Spice gotta chill the F out. She ain't that ish. All she does is shake her ass 
lyrics, and half the time, people don't know the lyrics of her songs. Another person said, Ice Spice should not be talking crap about Lotto if she's been out longer than her. If she's gonna talk crap about a rapper, then she should talk crap about a rapper that's in her league, not Lotto. But now I wanna know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Baby Storm exposing Ice Spice for being jealous of Lotto? And do y'all think Ice's hatred for Lotto is the reason she sided with Nicki? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.